Well guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are riding a completely different vehicle. This is my Nocto Super Cruiser. And we are gonna be doing food delivery. This is the bag I will be using. And it's a pretty nice bag. It's by Himal. And it's insulated, it's got a couple of pockets. But let me show you the vehicle that we're gonna be using. This is the Nocto Super Cruiser. It's got a 750 watt rear motor. It's got disc brakes. They're mechanical disc brakes. They're not hydraulic. I would appreciate hydraulic stuff, but the best feature really, and the worst feature, is the fat tires. So the fat tires do a couple of things. They absorb a lot of the impact. It feels like a motorcycle while riding, but at the same time, if you have to pedal without the power assist, you are working quite a sweat. And I have my phone mounted on here. We're gonna go live with Uber Eats. We're at beautiful National Harbor. You can see the Capitol wheel there. The National Harbor is over there. And you can get a bunch of deliveries here, but ideally we're gonna go across the bridge, the Woodrow Wilson Bridge there, to Alexandria and then finish our deliveries there. This range, I think it's about 30 miles per range, depending how much you pedal. So we're gonna go see, and I do have a lock here and it, my key, and I'm just gonna be locking the bike while I go in and do the deliveries. This is called a beach cruiser that has a 20 miles an hour speed and I've gone faster with pedaling. So it really is quite good. And we're gonna go live right now. And look at this, I do have this plugged into my battery and it doesn't use up a lot of battery. So there we go. Hey, I gotta take a photo of myself. Signed in to our Uber. It's got a nice kickstand and it's got a bunch of power assist modes and it does have gears. That's a really good thing about electric bikes. There are bikes without the gears and I don't know, I kind of like to be able to choose my own gear. Town, National Harbor, you have Fogo do Chão, Brazilian rotisserie chicken, and this is the main strip where you have Chipotle. There's a lot of deliveries here in Chipotle, so hopefully I'll pick something up here. The key is gonna be doing low mileage. We definitely can't do the mileage I was doing using the scooter. So I'm leaving the National Harbor. And I think I'm gonna go over to Alexandria just because I've been getting offers here. But the problem is, is that they're all going kind of far into Southeast DC. And what I wanna do is get low mileage offers. So two miles, three miles. Another really big, gnats, <laughs> cool. Mm. Okay, we're cresting the bridge over the Woodrow Wilson Bridge. There's the bridge. This is essentially crossing over 495. And now we're gonna cross the beautiful Potomac from Maryland into Virginia. One mile just across the bridge. A little bit less than a mile, but it's quite a workout because you, on both sides, you're working yourself up to the top of the bridge. And we have arrived in Jones Point Park. This is really one of the most beautiful parks in the entire area, in my opinion. It's also one of the most accessible ones. And it's right off of Old Town Alexandria. But look at this view. This is where directly underneath the Woodrow Wilson Bridge. And architecturally, it looks fantastic. This makes great photographs. You'll see a lot of photographers coming here. And this part is particularly interesting because it's right at the border. It's actually in Virginia, and then you cross over Maryland over there, and then you cross into DC and back to Virginia. This is where the original boundary was for Washington, DC. This bike is quite difficult without the battery assist because it's so heavy and the rolling resistance of the tires people fish, humongous fishes out of here. Mostly catfish, and on occasion I've seen rockfish, which are delish. And this is Old Town Alexandria, home of the rich 
and famous. And this is King Street. We're gonna go up King Street and go all the way up to Taco Bell. And Taco Bell's gonna have some deliveries. All right, we have our first delivery for the day from Blue Boy. It's seven miles away. This one's five bucks. I think that's the best thing about the e-bike. You can ride on the sidewalk when you want to. I'm not really in a hurry to do deliveries on a bike. Oh, here we go, new boy, hot chicken. Picking up for Steph. This way. All right, thank you. Quick pickup. This is, feels almost a little bit like Frederick. The way they just let you use the honor system to pick up the food. So now time to deliver to Steph B. Alexandria does well because they put stops everywhere. They don't give you like just one-way stops, which are confusing. I think this is gonna be a building. It's on the right side of the road here. What's the number? 432 Saul Hot Yoga. 408, right in here. 408, make sure. Oops. So we're going to go right back into Old Town Alexandria. Neto. All right, thank you. All right, got the order. I prefer taking the smaller roads than the larger ones. 1.1 miles to go. And I'm only on one, so I'm going to pump it up to do three, four pedal assist. I wish the brakes were better. These cable brakes are not good enough for our, something so fast and powerful and heavy as the, the Super Cruiser. I kind of wish that they gave us better brakes. And here's King Street. This is the main artery for deliveries. They have a gas flame outside their doors. That's when you know you're a lot of money. You see that? Gas flames. And by the way, it's the daytime. Then your destination will be on the right. Oh, this is nice. Oh, hey. There you are. Okay. Delivery done. This is nice. Having the e-bike, you can just like come in here. I'm just going to wait it out. I'm going to go back into Old Town and hopefully get another delivery. It's pretty quiet out. This area tends to get flooded during heavy rainstorms. And So we have a smoothie, a smoothie in a bag, which is always a terrible idea. But we do have some advantages. I do remember coming to that smoothie shop and I was so surprised about the price of a smoothie. You know, you think like it'll be like $10. $10 is a lot of money, but around here, it's like 20 bucks, it's close to 20 bucks for a smoothie. People are just out relaxing. It's so different than the area I live in. It's more friendly here, that's for sure. You know, one thing about it, the United States is that they are, they're trying to get more bike friendly. 
But when you're doing deliveries, you see a lot of places that don't have bike racks. This is Eisenhower. Of course, Eisenhower was a U.S. president, and he warned us about the military-industrial complex. This is a big overpass we're going over. All right, we're gonna to go to Prairie Lane on the right somewhere. Okay, so it's in here somewhere. So much nicer like doing this on an e-bike. 1.30. Leave the door. Okay, oops. Shoot. <laughs> Why am I hitting my horn? Okay, we have a new delivery. This time it's from Starbucks. And it's 0.6 miles away. And this one pays five. 5.6 All right, thank you so much. Thank you People here are so much nicer, much more relaxed. Yeah, people love dogs here. That's the one thing you're, I'm realizing that around here people love dogs more than they like people. I don't blame them. Dogs are way cooler than people. Hey, we have a new one from Slater's Market. So Slater's Market is right down the street. And this is our, our destination here. Okay, there's 817. This is it. This is for 817 for yep. Adam. Okay. Uh, yeah, I wonder if this is like some sort of architecture firm. So we have Slater's Market, which should be somewhere here. done our first food delivery on the Nacto Super Cruiser and that's pretty much it for today I've only did two or three hours made about thirty dollars and I actually think that doing this on a bicycle is quite fun and I'm definitely going to do this more because you get a little bit of a workout and at the same time you make a little money and the best thing is that you can ride this on the sidewalk you can go right up to people's like apartments. The only thing that takes a while is getting used to the uh, the lock. It takes a while to kind of just lock things up after you get in in the restaurant. It would be nice to have some sort of steering lock, so I wouldn't have to spend so much time locking the bike. But when it comes to tires, these tires are actually pretty effective when it comes to riding in this particular area. They absorb a lot of the vibration. And one another thing is that I do have the ability of charging my phone through this, but it's not a lot of power. And I wish it was a little bit more power connected to this. I think you need at least two USB chargers because you know my camera is also dying. And that's really the only reason. But I plan on doing a couple of more of these bike delivery things because I can really go into the city. And when you go into the city, you don't have to rely on this sort of traffic. So it's much nicer having a bike. So that's it, guys. That's the Nacto Super Cruiser as a delivery vehicle. Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe. And post up in the comments if you like this sort of cycling content on the channel. I'm not really sure if you guys like it, but if you do, just let me know.